I feel for the family. He's a good friend for many, many years. I'll miss him. Reality hits family and friends fear the worst after their loved one goes missing in the waters off Rhode Island. Now the recovery mission is underway. Chester Kidd went missing yesterday in Narragansett Bay. He made a distress call saying his boat was taking on water. This afternoon, it was found in 20 feet of water. Tomorrow, crews will be out again searching for the missing fishermen. It's a story that was breaking news live at 5. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly has been covering the story all day. and He joins us live in North Kingstown where he spoke to the friend of a fisherman. Yes, Karen, a West Warwick cohogger is still missing tonight, but this afternoon, searchers did find his boat. Paul Perry got the call from his friend Chester Kidd yesterday afternoon at 1.10. He just was yelling frantically, you know, help me, I'm going down, uh, oh my God, and we got disconnected. 47-year-old Chester Kidd of West Warwick was out cohogging on his 18-foot boat. Paul Perry called 911, and the search was on all afternoon, throughout the night, and again today. Where is the search underway? Roughly from, this is the north end of Prudence Island, and this is Potawatomi Point, Green River over here. And we're basically working this block down here to the south end of Prudence over to Quonset Point. That's the area where this afternoon searchers found Chester Kidd's boat. But Chester Kidd himself is still missing. Tough job right before Thanksgiving? Yes. I mean, any time, especially before Thanksgiving, but any time you're dealing with uh, the loss of someone who was obviously somebody's family member. It is, you know, very serious to us. What does that do to a guy, talking to your buddy on a mayday call? It's horrible because you feel helpless. You, He was always one to help everybody out. The search for Chester Kidd is set to go on for a third straight day tomorrow. Live in North Kingstown with the South County Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.